Hey there guys, Ectomaster here, and yes, this is StarCraft 2. And I figured, you know, Hardest Swarm was coming out, so I figured, eh, you know, why not? Let's do it. My channel was not around for... Well, it was around, but it wasn't a gaming channel back in, uh, Wings of Liberty. So I figured, you know, I like playing StarCraft 2 until I, you know, well, I just, I couldn't. There was a reason behind that. I'm not going to say what it was. But I couldn't play StarCraft 2. And it was usually the online mode, so I never actually adopt a noob. That's interesting. Anyways, I never, uh, yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> My brother's playing. I never really played the campaign. So even though Heart of the Swarm is out, and I would love to start with Heart of the Swarm, I'm actually going to start with Wings of Liberty, because I never got a chance to play through the entire thing. So even though Kerrigan is awesome and amazing, I'm going to go ahead and start with Wings of Liberty. I'll click on New Campaign. I'm going to just going to do it at normal. I'm here for, you know, the campaign, the story, and all that. Not, uh, I don't want to see how good I am at StarCraft because I suck at StarCraft. So without further delay or ado or whatever, let's get this party started. They say a man never really knows himself. Until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder... How well do you know yourself? Got some big feet. Give the Hulk a run. Blizzard Entertainment presents.
some four years ago, our own Kate Lockwell was on the scene. Emperor, the threat of a new Zerg invasion is still very real. But instead of expanding our fleets, you've squandered trillions on hunting down has-been rebels like Jim Rayner. Jim Rayner represents a clear and present threat to this dominion. He is an unscrupulous, lawless revolutionary bent on spreading fear and dissension across the sector. He and his ragtag band of miscreants have instigated open rebellion across six separate worlds. Jim, that was a good TV. Adjutant, are my troops ready yet? Your forces are prepared and awaiting your orders, Commander. Uploading tactical data now. Good. About time we kick this revolution into overdrive. So, there you go. <laughs> Alright, so I didn't really want to talk too much over that, the intros there, but there we go, we got a little taste of what's going on. Alright. So this is Liberation Day, destroy the Dominion Outpost. Very simple, we're on normal, we're going to click launch. Let's go. Adjutant. What do you got for me? Dominion forces have set up a logistics headquarters in the town of Backwater Station. This has become the hub for all operations on Marsara. The Dominion recently pulled troops out of the city and they are now under strength. Are the locals cooperating? The people of Backwater Station are known to be anti-Dominion, but they lack weapons and organization. If I can take that headquarters away from Mengsk, it'll cripple them on this planet. Prep my ship. Show the locals they don't need to fear the Dominion. All right, so standard drops ship drop only six units. Break it down. So, Commander, there are tutorial videos awaiting your review. I don't need no stinking tutorials. Raiders roll. Keep your intervals wide, your eyes open, and your ass is covered. Let's move. Sounds like a plan. All right, Gotta man up. Sounds like a plan. Got to look at this. Raiders roll. Oh no! Don't go up that road. I think I will go you up that road. Me. You can't tell me what Not to do. I'm. Sounds like a plan. Uh oh. You can count. Raider. Kill. Raider. Kill. Yeah, that didn't you go too count well. on me. Oh look, there's porta potties. Sounds like a plan. I'd like to go in, please. No. Raiders roll. All right, well, hold on, hold on. Disable tip notifications. We don't need tutorials. And what's F3 up? Three brings me up, Rainer. Okay. What's the nice plan? To know. Let's see what's up. Oh. Keep a close watch on your neighbors. Descent will only slow our progress. Commander, destroying the Dominion holoboards will help incite rebellion against the Dominion. Manx lies. All right. Yes, he does. So, uh, yeah, let's destroy him. I'm getting mighty tired of seeing Manx's face. Blasted. We did. There Sounds you go. Like a plan. Blasted. It did. You can count on me. We 
Where is everyone? Is that? That kind of looks like. Uh, I was gonna say it reminds me of. Oh, look, gas is seven hundred eighty-nine dollars and ninety cents. Isn't that just wonderful? Give him some pepper. And some salt. Salt and pepper. Oh, get it. It's Tashi Station. Kick it out. They're already pulling out the Star Wars pranks or jokes or whatever. Raiders roll. I My didn't neighbors. notice that. My family. This is starting to look ugly. Oh, you're you supposed to watch only. your neighbors closely. Did you do that? No, it does not look like you did. Commander, a large Dominion force is gathering in the center of town. Then it's time to call in that special delivery we talked about. You gonna give me orders? Uh, let's do this. Break it down. Come on, go get him! Thanks for the assist. We're with you, Raider. All right. So, work hard. I'll take that down. We must all sacrifice for the glory of the Dominion. Yeah, yeah, you did. Kick ass. Kick ass. That's Raider, most wanted man in the Dominion. And you're Sorry. dead. So you can see your objectives up top. Your main objectives were are to destroy the lo logistics headquarters. Rainer must survive, and then a bonus objective is dis to destroy the Dominion hoverboards. Sorry, I didn't mention that or earlier, but kind of got going. Yeah, let's go, bro. Count on me. Give him some pepper. I like it's your pews right there. Protected. Oh, pews! Meet my pew pews. Time to man up. This is bad. Sounds like a plan. That's what she said. Time to man up. <laughs> That's what she said. You can count on me. Finally. There's the locals. You'll all be given a meal when you reach the dig site. My brother went off to the mine last week. He disappeared. Don't do it, dude. Don't do it. We got a runner. They're shooting civilians. He did it. Move in. Yes, let's move in. Come on. Go get him. Lethal. He gets. Give him some pepper. Let's blow up that whatever it is. I guess I need like a medic or something. Thank you, Rainer. We knew you wouldn't forget us. There's more people still being held up ahead. I'll see to them. Oh, we'll get them. Don't worry. You can count on me. Marshal Rainer. Been a while since we saw you around here. We're with you, Raiders! Boom, there we go. Bonus objective done. Sell me. Sounds like a plan. This is a restricted area. You insurgents are under arrest. Kill him. your back, Raider. Kill him. Kick ass. Give him some pepper. Time to wait. Sure. No, no, no. Get the oh Vikings, right? No, those aren't Vikings. People are gonna yell at me. I don't remember what they are. It's been a very, very long time since I played StarCraft 2. Kaboom! Main objective complete. I didn't think we could fight them, but we can. Now you've got the weapons and the resources to do it. Remember, Minx can only control you if you let him. Alright. There we go. So we're going to continue with that. We only lost seven units. <laughs> uh. Joey Ray's bar. <laughs> Should 
should fly. Let's take us. Take us. Take, take us. It's Finley. Stupid. You know, for the most wanted man in the sector, you ain't that hard to find. I had to see it for myself. Little Jimmy Rayner, the people's hero. <laughs> Tychus Finley. Tychus, that's his name. <laughs> Pays to be prepared. I heard they put you on ice. Live sentence. What? To give you time off for good behavior? That's right, old buddy. I'm a model citizen now. <laughs> oh, poor fly, what do you do to you? So, to what do I owe the pleasure? Just a friendly business proposition. Do you even know what the Dominion are doing out here? I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Digging up alien artifacts, old buddy. Your boy Minsk has gone crazy for them. But I got a contact that'll pay top dollar for every artifact we liberate from the Dominion. I guess I can hardly pass that up now, can I, Tychus? Partners, then. 60-40. 70-30. My way. <laughs> Feels like old times already. Old times. So those, for those of you who don't know, some of you do, some of you don't. Tychus and Jim Rayner used to be a part of the Dominion, and uh, from because I've read the books, I've read things like that. They ended up becoming um, pirates and rebels and bandits and things like that. They would steal from the Confederacy of Man, which, believe it or not, was based off of the Confederates in the United States. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's still from the old families and things. Oh, is that an iTunes? That is. That is an iTunes parody with a Marine. The eye pistol. <laughs> Take your shot at life. I want one. How do I get my hands on one? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> to kind of go off of what I was saying, they worked together for a long time, and then, and one of the final things, Rainer found out his dad had passed away, and then his mom passed away right, right by him. Spoiler alert. Sorry. Spoiler alert, Tychus ends up getting captured and sent to prison. Jim then becomes... A member of the Terran Dominion helping Manx break away from the Confederacy of Man and then he broke away from Manx himself and now is fighting against Manx so the irony it's all over so as you can see there's a couple of things we can click on here there's Tychus there's Raynor there's the news there's the Viking picture and then there's a picture of Kerrigan and there's a jukebox as well and you can click on it it's got quite a few like songs like covers and Freebird, Rumble, Tearing Up the Night by the Level 80 Elite Torn Chieftains but I'm not really I'll turn off the music for now and then there's a mission but we're gonna check out a couple of it look Level 80 Elite Torn Chieftains I kiss the Zerg. Bunker lust. I feel like a... 
I can't read it. It's going too fast. Don't cry for me, Tarsanus. I am Murloc. With or without nukes. With or without nukes. Power of the Horde. Every rose has its door. <laughs> I love that. We'll start. We'll go around and then we'll go to the mission. So, Viking. This looks recent. This your doing, Jimmy? I mean, it is a Viking. Folks in these parts are ready to fight back against Maxx. Guess they just needed a little push. You still take this whole revolution thing pretty serious, then? Everyone needs a hobby, Tychus. His hobby is liberating people. Click on Kerrigan. Sarah. Sometimes... I think it would have been better if you just died that day. Those who don't know, Sarah Kerrigan is the Zerg Queen. She was left behind by Manx, which is part of the reason why Jim Rayner left Manx uh, to die. She ended up becoming mutated by the Zerg, ended up overthrowing the Zerg Overmind, and now commands the entire Zerg army. So, there you have it. Watch the news. This is Donnie Vermillion, live from the UNN studios on Core Hall. We've got a breaking story for you. Let's go live to our own Kate Lockwell on the fringe world of Marsara. Kate? Thanks, Donnie. Rebel Jim Rayner has reappeared in a big way. He's attacked a Dominion Depot near Backwater Station, seizing weapons and distributing them to the local populace. Kate, I bet the locals are pretty nervous about having a notorious outlaw in their neighborhood. Actually, Donnie, the people I talked to seemed really encouraged thanks, by the... Kate. You heard it here first. Jim Rayner terrorizing the locals on Marsara. When we return, are your kids using skin packs? <laughs> Keep talking, pal. I'm just getting started. Ah, so as you can see, the she was trying to put a positive spin on Jim and UNN cut them off. Or cut her off. Call me curious, but how'd you get out? Well... I busted out of my cryo-freezer while they were transporting me to New Folsom. Huh. Oh, I must have killed at least a dozen guards with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah, I've heard this one before. <laughs> my two cents. But you left out the part where you walked on water. Made off with the warden's daughter. Don't you get uppity with me, boy. I heard all about you becoming a big-time freedom fighter while I was away. What happened, Jimmy? The war for truth and justice get too much for you. I ain't licked yet, Tychus. And I promise you, Minsk is going down, one way or another. And last but not least. What is this swill? Feels like I'm always being watched. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna toast myself. <laughs> wonder if this stuff's flammable. It probably is. Old Mengsk is gonna get what's coming to him. All in good time. Alright, that's enough. Let's go on and see the mission. <laughs>